about 200 Soviet and Russian medical doctors applied this simple briefing exercise on thousands of patients with asthma, heart disease, COPD and many other conditions. This briefing exercise is indeed very simple and it is the most natural and most simple solution, so-called home remedy, because it does not require anything. Furthermore, this exercise provides the human body with more oxygen in the brain, heart and other body cells, because people with all these conditions hyperventilate, we breathe much more than the medical norm. And that causes constriction of blood vessels, loss of CO2 and reduced oxygenation of all vital organs. Therefore, the exercise, when it is done, is performed in the following way. You pinch your nose and start walking. Usually people with a stuffy nose can walk somewhere about 15, 20, 25 steps. After this period of walking, with your mouth closed and nose pinched, you are going to get care hunger, desire to breathe more, because you did not breathe during these steps. What you do next? You sit down, release your nose and start breathing, but only through the nose. Remember, when you finish the walking with your nose pinched, you need to inhale only through your nose, because in the nose we accumulate nitric oxide, a powerful vasodilator. In addition, we get more CO2, carbon dioxide, which is the most potent known dilator of blood vessels. It provides more oxygen for the brain, heart, all organs in the human body. Now, what is done next? Instead of your heavy breathing, because if you have a stuffy nose, that means you suffer from hyperventilation, you need to reduce or slow down your breathing pattern. That means instead of taking your big inhalation, you are going to take inhalation which is a little bit less, maybe about 10-20% less than you have right now. What you do next then, you slowly exhale. That means you need to exhale just by relaxing your breathing muscles. So you take inhalation using your diaphragmatic muscles. Inhalation again should be small, about 10-20% less. Then you immediately relax for exhale. Then you take next inhalation virtually immediately, again about 10-20% less in comparison with what you have right now, and then you relax your diaphragmatic muscles. So you continue to breathe in this shallow or reduced manner for about one minute. Therefore, after the breath hold, make a small nasal abdominal inhalation, as it is shown on the diagram. After this inhalation, you need to relax all your body muscles in order to exhale. Remember, just relax all your muscles for exhalations. Then again, you take a small nasal abdominal inhalation and relax to exhale, as it is shown on the diagram. Your goal is to maintain or preserve moderate air hunger or desire to breathe more air during this exercise. In other words, you need to gently but persistently self-suffocate yourself with little breathing. This reduced breathing results in higher CO2 levels in airways and increased oxygen levels in body cells. Structure of the exercise 1. Breath holding 2. Reduced breathing with air hunger and total relaxation of all body muscles. And up to 90% of people or even more found that they can easily unblock their nose and sometimes people suffer it from this problem for many many months. So this exercise has very high success rate.